Yo, I'm Nez. I'm up in the kitchen. And this time, what we're going to be making is... We got a bunch of lemons here, but it's not lemonade. Um, we're going to be making that lemon cello, baby. But this time, the lemon cello is going to be cream de lemon cello. Or, or creme de lemon, creme de limon cello. However, how, how they pronounce it in southern Italy. Um, but uh, basically, the... The um, way to make it is similar to regular limoncello. The only difference is is that you're adding in a little bit of vanilla extract, um, or if you have a vanilla bean, you can put a vanilla bean, and you're adding cream um, near the end. So what we're gonna do is uh, first thing you have to do is you need your lemons. Okay, you have to peel the lemons because we're only using the skin. Now, here's the thing with that: there's several ways you can get the skin off of it. You can either use a Vespa peeler by hand and you can sit there all day trying to peel just the skin because you want to make sure you're getting uh, predominantly the skin and not the other lying pith. Um, there's a whole lot of pith underneath there. You want to get as little of the pith as possible because that can make it really bitter. Um, so, um, in, unless you're really good with a, um, a, a Vespa peeler, I would suggest you use something like this. Um, this peels the skin off perfectly. Um, I did a review on this and I put the links to the review either up there or down there, depending on where I can manage to figure out how to put it. Um, the other ingredients you need also, you need sugar and water, uh, to make your simple syrup and obviously you need your booze, which I got over there. Um, um, the booze you should use, they say you should use grain alcohol, like Everclear, but you can use vodka. Um, I would say get a good quality vodka. Um, or if you want to cheat, you could just get a cheap vodka and a Brita water filter. And if you, most people already have a Brita water filter and you can filter your vodka about 10 times and it'll taste just like Ciroc. I, I swear you're not. That's what I do now. I buy cheap $13 big bottles of, uh, vodka and I filter it 10 times and I really can't taste the difference between that and, um, Grey Goose or Ciroc or Belvedere. Uh, I'm not even joking. So <clears throat> however you want to do it, you're trying to save a couple pennies and you have a Brita, filter your vodka and boom. Or, you know, you could use Everclear uh, um, or I have uh, some friends down south that make what's called the Alabama water. And I use that for this. And, that, and that's really good because there's this filter and it tastes awesome. So and you also need, uh, like I said, you need a uh, water and the sugar for your simple syrup. Um, I'll put a link either up there or down there for how you make the simple syrup. Trust me, <clears throat> uh, there's a certain way you should make it. Um, there's easy ways to make it. Somebody say, why don't you just use um, sugar and water, mix it together and bomb. Well, I mean, you can do that, but it doesn't come out clear. And I'm going to show you in the in the video when you watch the video. So check out my video. I'm not sure where, where it's going to pop up at, but it's uh, there somewhere. So basically, let's get into this. You're going to need six lemons. You know, I got 12 here, but you need six. Um, and uh, you're going to need six lemons. You're going to need a teaspoon of your vanilla ex extract. And it has to be actual pure vanilla extract, not the imitation. Trust me when I tell you this. You want the pure vanilla extract. You need one teaspoon of that um, for... Um, two cup per two cups of um, alcohol. So we're gonna use six lemons, okay? The peels from six lemons, peels and juice from six lemons. You're gonna use two cups of whatever your alcohol, whether it be vodka, Everclear, or any other kind of grain alcohol, one teaspoon of vanilla extract, and two cups, one and a half, depending on how sweet you want it, one and a half to two cups of your simple syrup, um, in the end and, um, two cups of your, your cream, your heavy cream. Um, so, um, let's just get right into it. Okay. So what you're going to do is get, get the skin off. So, um, I recommend this machine here. It's awesome. Um, it removes the skin perfectly. Make sure you spike it really well. Bring this down. So now it's held it held it in place. Then you bring this bad boy up, flip her on, and you have look at that. Look how perfect that is. 
And when it gets it all, it's all done. And look at that. Look at this. That's look how good that is. Like it don't it don't get any better than that. It don't get any better than that. And literally, what we're gonna do is we're gonna just after we peel that off, we're gonna throw it in our mason jar. Bong. And then now we just need to do the other five. So I'm gonna finish doing all these and then we're gonna come back in. So see you on flip. Okay, we back in. We're making the creme de limoncello. And um, basically what we're gonna do is now that we got all the, we got our peels from six lemons in the mason jar here, we're gonna take those same six lemons, we're gonna cut them in half and we're gonna juice them until we have the juice from six lemons in here. And then what we're gonna do after that is we're gonna take one teaspoon of pure vanilla extract, not imitation vanilla flavor, or if you don't have pure vanilla extract and you happen to have a vanilla bean, you could throw one two inch long vanilla bean stick in there. I know some of the vanilla bean sticks go can be like three, four, maybe five inches, but you only want two inches worth of a uh, vanilla bean and you throw that in there. But I think it's just easier to use one teaspoon of vanilla extract. That's about equivalent to a two inch piece of vanilla bean. Um, you wanna um, put your uh, six lemons worth of juice in there, one teaspoon or a two inch, um, one teaspoon of lemon extract, pure lemon extract, or a two inches worth of bean, and two cups of your green alcohol, vodka, or whatever alcohol you're using. All right, so basically, I'm just gonna take my little lemon situation here, shove my lemon in there. juice from a half a lemon. Now I'm going to go ahead and finish juicing the rest of these six lemons and then we're going to add uh, our stuff to the uh, to the jar. So catch you on the flip side. Okay we back in. We got the um, six lemons um, juiced right here. I strained it off to remove all the pulp. So what we have here is six cups of juice. I mean six lemons whole lemons worth of juice here we got our peels from six lemon i've already added my teaspoon of pure vanilla extract because i don't have a bean so what i'm going to do now is i'm going to go ahead and add my lemon juice to the lemon peels bong that's what she looks like right there and now i have my two cups of my bama water and i'm going to add that to the mixture here You could use vodka or Everclear or whatever other green alcohol you may have handy or you go out and buy. It all, doesn't matter what you use. It's all according to your preference. Now, put that back on, put the cap back on and bomb. Let that absorb all the oils from the peel and the lemons for about a week, maybe more. I'll see how I feel. And we go from there. Give this bad boy a quick shake just to make sure everything's all mixed together. Bong. Store that in the um, store that in the area where low light, like I said, for like a week or so. And then we're gonna come back and add our cream in a simple a simple syrup and cream. All right. So uh, see you on the flip on that one. Okay, we back in. About to finish up this creme de limoncello. Um, so um, basically, what we have out here, we got our bowl to mix everything all together. Um, we got um, a couple strainers here, a regular strainer and a fine mesh strainer, a couple bowls, uh, measuring cups, and all that stuff that we need. Now, keep in mind, um, I just want to go over this with you. Um, when making your limoncello, all right, um, you know, limoncello, creme de limoncello, orange yellow, whatever use whatever kind of alcohol you like um I, for this 
um, I got my uh, uh, Everclear, and I know she knows before that um, this is a different um, container um, that I started with, but I had to transfer in this container because um, when I was putting it in um, in my cabinet in the dark place, I kind of like it slipped on my hand and dropped, and I saw that it cracked, so I had to pick it up and transfer it real quick, um, and I didn't have any more mason jars, so. Um, so I had to put it in this, but it's just, you know, just as fine. Um, it has, as long as it has a good seal on it, you're good. So, um, so now I had to order me some more mason jars on, on Amazon. So we're good there for next time. But, uh, neither here nor there. This is what we got. This is what we're working with. Um, um, so what we're going to do is, uh, we're going to pour it off and start straining. All right. So. As you can see, I'm sitting here having a hard time unscrewing this so you know it's a good seal on this bad boy. Alright, so what we're going to do is pour that off best we can without getting so much peels and stuff in there. Hope we can do that. That would be great. Keep the peel in the container if we can. Got everything. Let that strain off a little bit. And then uh, see if there's anything else. I'm not gonna already smell it. It smells awesome. Battery is about to die. Okay. So what I'm going to do here is now that I'm poured that off, I'm going to run this through the fine strainer because this is what's going to actually take some time. So and I'm going to give this a chance to charge up some because it's about to dive and did a couple videos on this and I didn't charge it. So I'm going to go strain this and then I'm going to come back in. When we got it all strained and then poured into the bowl, and then we're gonna, you know, start adding the rest of the ingredients. So um, I shall see you on the flip. Okay, we back in. I finished straining off all the, um, all the uh, the fluid, you know, in there through the fine mesh strainer, and I actually skipped the step. I skipped the step, um, and I actually showed you one of the wrong ingredients. For the creme de limoncello, instead of using the simple syrup, I use either blue agave or honey. And uh, I know the old tradition, um, the traditional way to make creme de limoncello, you're supposed to use honey. Um, I do have a honey, but I didn't want to use honey, so I just stuck with the blue agave. And you use one cup of the blue agave because it is thick, so you don't need two cups. Because ordinarily, I probably would have used two cups of the simple syrup. But with the, the agave, since it's more concentrated, you only need one cup of that. So basically, that's the reason why that this changed a little got a little darker it has actually the color of honey now um or as before it was obviously yellow um so i write what i'm doing now is just mixing to trying to make sure the uh, agave is all mixed up and then what we're going to do is we're going to add our cream afterwards all right leave a little bit left in there let's try to get all the little And we started, like I said, you start off with one cup. And if you need to add a little more, you can add a little more. But if you made it too sweet, then it's hard to take some away. So, you, start, you know, you have to use that same application rules for when you're salting foods. So, now that we did that, what we're going to do is we're going to add two cups of heavy cream, light cream. Whatever cream you got, it's all good. Use what you got on hand. I mean, but if you have a heavy cream, obviously that's going to be a little better. Bong, two cups. And we're going to add this. We're gonna 
mixed this up very well. Make sure you mix it very well because the alcohol naturally looks like it's trying to separate the cream. So make sure you give it a good mix. Okay, I think that's mixed up pretty well. Okay, so now what I, you know what I got to do? You already know what I got to do. I got to give it the little taste test. Basically to see if we got enough cream in there. If we need to, I mean, I shouldn't say cream, but sugar. See if we have enough sugar in there. See if we need to add on some. So, let me give me a little, little taste. See what we're working with here. Wow, that is good. That is good. Wow. Wow, that is good. I need me another taste. Let me wash this off. No contaminate. Wow, that is good. Ooh, I really did it that time. That, 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 that's that right there. That's, that's that. That, that's that. Yeah. You, yeah. You got to get all up in this. Yeah, buddy. Yeah, I, yeah. I want, I want everybody to make this and then comment in the, uh, the comments down below and tell me how theirs came out because this, this right here, this right here, buddy. And like I said, you know. You don't got to use Everclear. You don't got to use Alabama water. You don't got to use vodka. You don't got to use rum. Or you could use those things. Whatever alcohol you have or that you like particularly. Use gin. You know, use freaking, uh, use vodka. Use daggone Hennessy if you like Hennessy. I mean, whatever vodka. I mean, maybe not Hennessy, but um, whatever kind of alcohol you like. Put that, you know, make it with that. Hey, make it yours. But with this right here, with the Everclear, man, look. Let me tell you. Um, or I should say with the Alabama water. Let me let me tell you. Let me tell you, buddy. Let me tell you. All right. Links in the description for everything. Alright. You know, I, I got the orange yellow that that's gonna be down there. I got the lemon cello that's gonna be down there. Alright. Um, I got the review on the, the thing that I used to, um, to cut the peel off. The reviews for that's going to be down there in the description. The, um, the video on how to make your simple syrup, if you want, is going to be down in the description or up top up here somewhere. All that's going to be down there. Check down there for everything. All right. You know, and, one, and you know, and more importantly than that, you know, you know, comment down below. Let me know how yours came out. If you decide to make it or if you're going to make it. Let me know. I want to know. Because I want to know if yours came out as good as mine just came out. Because mine came out bomb diggity. Right? So. Oh, yeah. But real quick before we sign off, I forgot. I got to bottle this bad boy. So you can see that process. So let's go ahead. Put our funnel in there. And we're going to pour this in my bottle. So you can see what it looks like in the bottle. Hope I don't make a huge mess. Oh, almost was a disaster there. Almost. Looks like cake batter pouring in there. 
but I assure you, this is so good. This is so good. Right there, that's about where I want it. Bomb, perfect. Yeah, buddy, look at that. Look how that looks in there. Look how that looks. That is awesome. Slap my label on there and we good to go. Bong, look at that. That is gorgeous. That is gorgeous. Nice and creamy looking. Whew, yo, that's gonna be so good. I can't wait. Get a nice chill on that. Take shots of that. Yo, but uh, like I said before, you know, everything's gonna be down in the description. More importantly than that, in the comments, let me know if you made it, how yours came out, comment below, all of that. I want to know because, like I said before, mine came out bomb diggity, and I want to know if yours came out the same. So with that being said, I'm Nez, and this has been my take on the age-old uh, creme de limoncello. Um, I'm Nez, and I'm out this piece. Bon appetito. I may have me another shot of that.